probably no other area in alternative health is more subject to overpromising and underdelivering than anti-aging medicine. We're talking about every magic bullet under the sun, from face rejuvenation creams to human growth hormone treatments. Ah, if only it were that simple. But aging is not the result of any single factor. It is the cumulative result of a number of biological events, including cell senescence, diminished telomerase activity, protein degradation, advanced glycosylation end products, excess sugar in the blood, progressive systemic inflammation, cellular dehydration, accumulated toxic buildup in organ tissues, reduced circulation, reduced cellular energy production and impeded flow throughout the body, changes in hormone balance and levels, excessive body weight, wear and tear over time. The above list is hardly complete. We could add stress, the accumulation of free radicals in the body, and the results of cumulative poor nutrition, for example. The key, though, is not to identify every single factor, an impossible task, but to understand that if you want to slow the aging process, you have to look at more than a magic bullet that targets a single biological event. The only way to maximize health and lifespan is to use a whole body systemic approach. In other words, you need to do everything that said, there is one supplement that actually addresses a number of these issues, almost half of them in fact, and that's L-carnosine. Despite everything else that's come along promising to make you younger over the last 18 years, L-carnosine is still the best proven anti-aging supplement out there. Yes, I'm talking about boring, old, been there, done that L-carnosine. Unfortunately, although once popular, Carnosine has seemed to fall from fashion, replaced by sexier, newer, yet less effective options. How did this happen? Well, first, I think you can thank Dr. Oz, and second, I think you can look at our almost genetically encoded belief that newer is better. When I first started using carnosine in formulations in the mid-90s, there were really only two information sources in the United States promoting carnosine's benefits, myself and the Life Extension Foundation. For the next 13 years, Carnosine's benefits were kind of secret and sexy as one by one different alternative health gurus began noticing what we had been saying about L-carnosine and began using it in their own anti-aging formulas, incorrectly in most cases. But then, in early 2012, almost 15 years after the fact, Dr. Oz discovered L-carnosine and touted it on his show as the miracle pill for anti-aging. And suddenly, carnosine was the IT supplement of the day. Carnosine's benefits were featured in news reports, carnosine was all over the internet, and hack company after hack company started selling their own carnosine formulas that had been quickly thrown together with no understanding of how it worked or what made sense in a formula. This meant, of course, that a lot of the information about carnosine's benefits that began making the rounds at that point was simply wrong, and a lot of those formulas just didn't work. Unfortunately, when anything gets that popular, and with that many charlatans in the game, the naysayers crawl out of the woodwork and overwhelm the mainstream media. They claimed that the purveyors of carnosine were selling snake oil, which was somewhat justified since there were so many badly formulated supplements on the market, often using low purity, inexpensive sources for their carnosine, and too little carnosine at that to make any difference. But the biggest problem was that once the market gets oversaturated with the supplement's presence, it gets tired of that supplement and moves on to the next hot thing. Speaking of which, When's the last time you heard about GH3? Exactly. Which leads us to the second problem. As a species, we always seem to be chasing the new and improved. Fortunately, unlike the general public, several years ago, mainstream research quietly latched onto L-carnosine with a vengeance. Study after study is now reporting new benefits for this amazing natural supplement, several dozen in the last few years alone. Most of these new carnosine studies have no direct connection with anti-aging for the simple reason that anti-aging is difficult to quantify. Instead, now that carnosine is considered real by the scientific community, the studies tend to be much more quantifiable, with an emphasis on the role carnosine supplementation plays in reversing specific conditions like cardiovascular disease, cancer, and dementia. What makes these studies especially interesting is that although they involve measuring narrowly specific benefits, those benefits can easily be extrapolated out to the body as a whole, thus serving as confirmation of carnosine's overall anti-aging benefits. In fact, all of the diseases I just mentioned are considered age-related, 
diseases. That said, for our purposes today, let me cite just one analytical paper published in the Chemistry Central Journal that noted that carnosine has contrasting but beneficial effects on cellular activity. Carnosine both delays the aging of cells and rejuvenates cells that have already aged. The authors speculate that carnosine exerts its many benefits by affecting energy metabolism and stabilizing all of the proteins in your body. To quote from the paper, these dual actions might provide a rationale for the use of carnosine in the treatment or prevention of diverse age-related conditions where energy metabolism or proteostasis, that's protein stability, are compromised. These include cancer, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and the complications of type 2 diabetes, nephropathy, cataracts, stroke, and pain, which might all benefit from knowledge of carnosine's mode of action on human cells. With that in mind, let's take a closer look at both L-carnosine in isolation and what an effective L-carnosine-based formula looks like. To understand how L-carnosine works, you have to start with the Hayflick limit and the glycation of proteins. The Hayflick limit tells us that all cells have a limited capacity to continue to divide through the course of their lives. Once they reach that limit, they die. Those numbers are different for each type of cell in our body, and by early adulthood, half of those divisions have been used up. By midlife, maybe only 20 to 39 percent of those divisions are left. At that point, old age as we know it starts taking over, leading ultimately to cell senescence and death. In effect, the Hayflick limit determines lifespan at the cellular level. Cell senescence is the final step before cell death. Senescent cells are still alive and metabolically active, but they're no longer capable of dividing. More importantly, senescent cells exhibit all of the characteristics that so bother us about old age, such as the difference between the supple skin of a child and the wrinkled skin of the elderly, or the clear eyes of youth and the cloudy eyes of the rest home. Remarkably, studies have definitely shown that L-carnosine, a naturally occurring combination of two amino acids, alanine and histidine, can rejuvenate cells as they approach senescence. Cells cultured with carnosine live longer and retain their youthful appearance and growth patterns. Even more amazingly, studies have also shown that carnosine can actually reverse the signs of aging in senescent cells within days of beginning supplementation. Astoundingly, studies have also shown that carnosine can even go one better than that. It can increase the number of times a cell can divide before senescence by better than 25%. In terms of cell life, the increase is a mind-boggling 200%. Cells transferred to a carnosine-rich medium attain a life of 413 days compared to just 126 to 139 days for control cells. In terms of actual life expectancy, at least in mouse studies, mice given carnosine are twice as likely to reach their maximum lifespan as untreated mice. And as previously stated, carnosine also significantly reduces the outward signs of old age. Now let's talk about L-carnosine's second mode of action, protecting against protein glycation. Glycation is the uncontrolled reaction of sugars with proteins. It's kind of like what happens to sugars when you heat them and they caramelize. In effect, Glycation is what happens when excess sugars caramelize in the proteins in your body. It's a major factor in the aging process, and for obvious reasons, it's particularly devastating to diabetics. Remember, virtually all of that soft tissue in your body is largely made up of proteins. In fact, proteins are the substances most responsible for the daily functioning of your body. That's why anything that causes protein deterioration has such a dramatic impact on the body's function and appearance. Thanks largely to the destructive effect of sugar and oxidized alcohols in your body, your protein, and all of the organs built from that protein, tend to undergo destructive changes as we age. This destruction is a prime factor, not only in the aging process itself, but also in the familiar signs of aging such as wrinkling skin, cataracts, the shrinkage of your major organs, and the destruction of our nervous system and our brains. Studies show that carnosine protects against all of these forms of protein modification. And it accomplishes this in at least two ways. First, it bonds with the carbonyl or aldehyde groups that if left alone will attack and bind with proteins. Second, it works as an antioxidant to prevent the formation of oxidized sugars, also called advanced glycosylation end products, or AGEs for short. That's really the caramelization thing that I mentioned earlier.
The bottom line here is that the less AGEs in your body, the younger you are. Both of these processes have important implications for anti-aging therapy, but even more importantly, carnosine not only prevents damaging crosslinks between proteins from forming, it eliminates crosslinks that have previously formed in proteins, thus restoring normal membrane function. Which brings us to Alzheimer's disease. Carnosine has been proven to reduce or completely prevent cell damage caused by beta amyloid, one of the prime protein risk factors for Alzheimer's. The presence of beta amyloid leads to the damage of the nerves and arteries of the brain. Carnosine blocks and inactivates beta amyloid. In effect, it protects neural tissue against dementia. Again, the key is that carnosine not only prevents damaging crossleaks from forming in proteins, it eliminates crossleaks that have previously formed in those proteins, thus restoring normal membrane function in cells. This is true not only in the brain, but in all organs of the body, our skin included. Keep in mind that the damage you see in the skin is not just a cosmetic question. Your skin is an organ like your liver, kidneys, heart, and lungs. The damage that you see in your skin is absolutely an indicator of the levels of damage happening to every other organ in your body, including your eyes and your brain. And finally, carnosine has the remarkable ability to throttle down bodily processes that are in a state of excess and to ramp up those that are underexpressed. For example, Carnosine thins the blood of people whose blood tends to clot too much and increases the clotting tendency in those with low clotting index. Another example is that carnosine suppresses excess immune function in those who have hyperimmune systems, whereas it stimulates the immune response in those with weakened immune systems, such as the aged. Note, a number of people have written into the foundation asking about using beta alanine to boost carnosine, and yes, Alanine is one of those two peptides, along with histidine, that combine to make up carnosine. And yes, if you supplement with enough beta-alanine, your body will use it to raise carnosine levels in your body. The problem is that it's not a very efficient way to do it. According to a review of the current literature, you would need to supplement with 5 to 6.5 grams of beta-alanine a day to significantly increase your body's carnosine levels. Using an actual carnosine supplement is far more efficient. Now, as important as carnosine is, there is an issue in its usefulness as a standalone supplement. It's called lipofusin. Lipofusin is the age-related pigment commonly found in older brains as well as in other tissues such as the skin. Liver spots, incidentally, are simply skin discolorations caused by the accumulation of lipofusin. The more signs of lipofusin you have in your skin, the more you're likely to have in other organs of your body, including your brain. By itself, it's not dangerous. It is merely a byproduct of harmful reactions that have already taken place, like ash from a fire. For example, lipofusin is one of the byproducts of free radical damage and protein aldehyde damage, both conditions that carnosine addresses. Now, keep in mind that when you supplement with carnosine, you still accumulate lipofusin, but in a different way. The carnosine quickly binds with the aldehydes, preventing them from damaging the proteins. The byproduct of this protective action is also lipofusin. So once again, you have inactive lipofusin compounds, but this time is the result of preventing protein damage. In a sense, with carnosine, you trade protein damage and lipofusin for just lipofusin alone. As I said before, by itself, lipofusin is not harmful. However, if enough of it accumulates over time, it can interfere with proper cellular and organ functions. So the bottom line is that however it is produced as a result of protein damage or as the result of taking sacrificial carnosine to prevent protein damage, you don't want it to accumulate. So what can you do about it? And the answer is, you include DMAE and acetyl L-carnitine in your L-carnosine formula. By any definition, DMAE is the perfect companion to carnosine in an anti-aging formulation. First, it reinforces carnosine's own anti-aging properties. Then, it provides a whole series of complementary benefits of its own. DMAE is short for dimethylaminoethanol, a naturally occurring nutrient that enhances acetylcholine synthesis in the brain. Adequate levels of acetylcholine are important for proper memory function. Normally found in small amounts in our brains, DMAE has been shown in clinical studies to remarkably enhance brain function when used as a supplement. One of the prime actions of DMAE is that it flushes accumulated lipofusin from the neurons in your brain, from your skin, and from all other organs. 
It also complements carnosine in the DMAE on its own has been shown to inhibit and reverse the cross-linking of proteins and extend lifespan. Then there's acetyl L-carnitine. Like DMAE, acetyl L-carnitine, ALC for short, is a perfect complement to L-carnosine. It is a specialized form of L-carnitine that is often deficient even in meat eaters and that performs virtually all of the same functions as L-carnitine, but better. And more importantly, ALC reaches parts of the body where L-carnitine cannot go. In particular, ALC readily crosses the blood-brain barrier where it can enhance a number of specialized neurological functions. In addition, studies have shown that acetyl L-carnitine can inhibit the deterioration and mental function associated with Alzheimer's disease and slow its progression, partly as a result of its ability to shield neurons from the toxicity of beta amyloid protein. But most of all, ALC just helps slow down the aging process of the brain. The mind-boosting effect of acetyl L-carnitine is often noticed within a few hours, or even within an hour of supplementing. Most people report feeling mentally sharper, having more focus, and being more alert. Some even experience a mild mood enhancement. More specifically, ALC improves learning ability along with both short-term and long-term memory. It improves mood by 53%. It both improves the quality of and reduces the need for sleep. It improves verbal fluency. And ALC improves hand-eye coordination by some 300 to 400%. And yes, acetyl L-carnitine helps flush lipofusin from your body, especially from your brain. The bottom line is that a well-designed L-carnosine formula is still your best bet for slowing down the aging process and, as we've seen from just a sampling of the studies completed in the last several years alone, so much more. I'm still partial to a formula that provides upwards of 1,500 milligrams of carnosine a day, along with its complements, 1,200 milligrams of acetyl L-carnitine and 240 milligrams of DMAE by tartrate. For now, it's the closest thing I know of to Ponce de Leon's Fountain of Youth. I've personally been taking my own version of this formula for the last 18 years. While it's true that many people who supplement with carnosine are going to notice everything from younger looking skin to more energy, the bottom line is that you shouldn't look for short-term benefits from carnosine supplementation. If any short-term benefits are noticed, you should consider them a bonus. The reason you want to supplement with L-carnosine is to protect against the long-term ravages of aging. Once you actually understand what a well-designed L-carnosine formula does, once you understand the role it plays in preventing and potentially reversing all of the signs of aging in your body, and we're talking about everything from wrinkled skin to cataracts to Alzheimer's, heck, once you understand the role it plays in extending life itself, then you're left with the unmistakable conclusion that supplementing with an optimized L-carnosine-based formula may represent one of the single best things you can do to help turn back your biological clock.